Hi students, today we are going to talk about the topic that is subject verb agreement. What is subject verb agreement? Subject verb agreement simply means the subject and the verb must agree in number. Now subject verb agreement, this topic is very much important. If we do not use subject verb agreement properly, so the reader, the listener or the person who is speaking, he might be confused. So for that, there are simple rules which we have to keep in mind while writing, listening, speaking and writing. First of all, let's start with the subjects. Now these all are the subjects like I, we, you, he, she, it, they, singular noun and plural nouns. Okay, these all are called subjects. We know that there are three persons in English language. It is first person, second person, third person. Now, I and V, these are first persons. I is singular and V is plural. Second person is you. Now, we have third person singulars. These are like he, she, it and singular noun. We also have third person that is plural. It is they and it can be plural noun. Now you have to focus, now you have to keep these points in your mind that which are first persons, which is second person and which are third person singulars and which are third person plurals. Mainly we will be focusing on third person singulars. Here we have the next slide in which uh, we are going to talk about this to be verb. This is called to be verb in which there are mainly five helping verbs. First there are is, am and are and they are used in the present form. Now according to the subject which helping verb should be used? We have to understand this topic. Now is is used with he, she, it and singular noun. Remember these all are third persons and they are also singulars. So simply we can say that with third persons and they must be singulars. With them we directly use the word is in present tense. Okay. Next there is M. M is always used with I and the last is R. And R is used with we, you, they or the plural nouns. We can write the examples like we can say I am talking. Now you see according to the subject we are using the helping verb. We can also write the next example we can say we are writing. Now according to the subject we are using the helping verb. We cannot say we am. That will be wrong. Or we cannot say we is. Again, this is wrong. So actually this is subject verb agreement. Whatever the subject is, according to that we have to use the helping verb. Okay. Next we have uh, was and were. They are used in the past tense. Okay. Now if you focus here, was is used with all singular subjects. It means was can be used with I, he, she, it or we can say singular noun. Okay. Now was will be used with I as well because the rule says that was is used with all singular subjects. For example, we can say I was talking. We can also say it was raining. We can also say Ali was speaking. So now you can see according to the subjects we are selecting the helping verbs. With I we use was, with it we use was and with Ali means with singular noun we also use was. Next is the use of 
were that is also used for the past now this is used with plural subjects like it can be used with we you they we can also say it is used with plural nouns as well now look at the examples if you write example here we can say we were plain now we cannot say we was that will be wrong according to this subject for the past we have to use were this will be correct we can also say ali and ahmad now if i just put the blank here ali and ahmad eating now we have the option here from was and were now you can see this is plural noun so we know that with plural noun we do not use was we use what this were so in this blank we have to use were so it should be ali and ahmad were eating right so this was the use of to be verbs in which there were is am are was and were now remember the points that with which subjects we are using them these are used for the present and these are used for the past next we have the use of has and have this is very simple as well focus here has is used with third person and they should be singular subjects it means we are talking about these has is used with he she it and the singular noun whereas when we talk about have have is used with i we you they and plural nouns it's very simple look at the examples here first one the girl has talked to me now the girl is singular so if the subject is singular so according to that singular subject we have to select the singular verb so with the girl we have to use what we will use has the girl has talked to me now look at the second uh, look at second example that is the girls now this girls is what this is plural right now if the subject is plural so we have to use what have see here when we were learning about the use of have so we have clearly said here that plural nouns are used so then we have to use have so the girls is plural so with that we cannot use has that will be wrong with this the girls we have to use have it should be the girls have talked to me this is the next slide remember these all examples are of indefinite pronoun and they all are they all are considered as they all are considered as singular nouns so remember if the subject is singular noun so we have to use what we have to use singular verb it means we can use with them we can use like is we can use was for the past and we can also use has now we can say everybody is present nobody was absent we can say uh, someone has completed the work okay these all are singulars so according to that these helping verbs are also singulars these can be used this can be used for the present this can be used for the past and this can be used for the perfect tenses hope you got the point next we have compound subjects it's also easy a compound subject is made up of two or more nouns now focus on this point two nouns or more than more than two nouns that will be called as compound subject look at the slide we have here the first example james and his friends these are two nouns now if two nouns are connected with this and 
remember this point if two nouns are connected or linked with and so this will be considered as compound subject right so that will be considered as plural so whenever the subject is plural so we have to use this plural verb so the sentence can be like james and his friends were volunteering at the fire department we can also use are and we can also use have with this like we can say james and his friends are because this james and his friends is what this is plural so with plural we may use were are or have okay now last is the use of or or the use of nor focus this is very much important example is either he or his dogs were responsible for the mess now the rule is that if the subject is plural after the use of this or so we have to focus on this subject now his dogs is what this is plural so with plural we have to use this plural verb okay look at this example either he or his dog now his dog is this is what this is singular okay after this word after this or if the subject is singular so we have to use singular verb as well it can be like either he or his dog was responsible is responsible for the mess we can use both if we use for the present we will use is if we use for the past so we can use the word was now same is the case with nor after the word nor we have to focus on the subject if the subject is plural p l u means plural so we will use plural verb but if the subject here after the nor the coach this is what this is singular so we will use the singular verb like this example is neither the coach nor the players now this players is plural we have to focus on this subject this is plural that is why we are using here were second uh, last example is there neither the players nor the coach now after this nor the coach is singular so if the subject is singular so we will use was i hope you understand all the points which we discuss in these slides thank you